Okay. Um, let's wash the bad taste of that previous video out of our mouth. That was way too long and that was way too not good. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about cables. Um, MMCX, 2-pin are the two that I think I get asked about the most. You got my credentials of, uh, as a cable slot are, are well documented. I've got the MMCX uh, from Pateric for quite a while now, a couple of years, three years. I got a new connection that's done, a new version, a little bit of a hiccup um, I'm using. It turns out that the tail of this one was a little bit wrong, but I'm using the Pateric connection and left, right actually does work. So I'm going to get a tail for this and then it'll be corrected and then everything will be fine. Um, and that's going to be my custom rec because he, he's been, he's been fine all the way doing these little MMCX things are not easy. Like I said, there's four points of wiring that you got to do the, the termination, uh, the connects to the, the transducers and then each side of the, the mini XLR has to be wired correctly. So th there's, it's not easy. Um, some people don't want to get into that. They just want to get good cables and they want to get them off the shelf because they're available now. Click the buy button and it's on the way. For those people, and I'm, I'm those people too, I, I just love cables in general. Um, I got in front of me two. Um, one is a two pin. <coughs> one is a MMCX connection. Um, the page that... As the moment of this video, for some reason, Firefox is, is changing because I'm in Japan, the AliExpress to Japanese. So I can't actually read what the hell this is um, as far as the cable details go. So I did it in Internet Explorer and it's, it's re... I know how to adjust my browser for where I'm at, but it's not working right now with AliExpress. So later, when I get a link, I'll go ahead and put the specs below. Um, Looks like these are about $45 if I got the correct link to this point. I'm going to go ahead and take one of these off and focus on one. This would be the MMCX. So this would go with anything that has an MMCX. I, I can't tell you guys how much I love cables. Um, Let's take a look. Start on this side, actually. Get out of here. I enjoy this whole thing. What looks like frustration only happens with the cables that I don't like. With these type of things, I'm cool with this. Um, it's got a, it's got a soft hook. Goes to here, um, which is fairly long. It's not. It's not stiff. It's not adjustable. It's there's. Most human ears are going to be okay with this. Um, get a close-up of this. If I can. Quality. Seems reasonable. Seems good, actually. Take this. We've got a chin slider. And this is a chin slider that apparently actually works. It's not, not loose. And then we go to a Y split, and that has no identifying marks on it. And then we go into the full braid that goes down. I, just, I love the feel of nice cables. Mmm, cable porn. And then we go into a nice 2.5 termination. Strain relief seems to be okay. I'll check that out later. Um, some of the FIO uh, stuff and a couple other things, when you get it and you turn it, sometimes the I get it, but I don't want to do that. So it's not doing it on this one. This is nicely tightened, and it's not going to slide off. That's a close-up look at it. I'm going to go ahead and... So what I was talking about previously with the other cable 
what I want to do when I'm done with a cable is I want to put it like I would a uh, hose or anything else that I would want to store like this and I actually pack away my cables like this. I like that. And then the end can sometimes be a little bit hectic. But I like my cables to be just like that. For lots of reasons. It's just a personal choice, but I, I don't like what I, we were just dealing with, um, which was this one. This, no. Nope, no, no. Um, I'm going to go ahead and connect this to the BGVP, uh, and I'll be back in a second. Wow, as soon as I connected these, the stage instantly just expanded. It was like a like being in a like a 3D world. It's like the sound was in front of me and it was beside me and I could catch things behind me that I I'd never heard before. I'm I'm just fucking with you. That that doesn't ever happen. Um I, I love these so fucking much. Um, seriously, the, there's there's honeymoon periods and then there's not. It sounds great. Is it because of the cable? No. Um, w why do I like cables? Because um, there's usually more care and more quality with the aftermarket cables than there are. Have you ever seen a video online about how they mass produce cables in China, which is probably where most you know vendors around the world get their cables? They're giant machines and they bundle them in the hundreds and then wind them and slice them on a machine and pull them and slice them on a machine. It's a really <coughs> sad thing. I'm sure that that happens with this kind of material too. But um, there's a little more care because you've got to braid it and uh, it's not quite the same thing. I believe that the level of quality increases with the aftermarket cables. Um, which is why people buy them because they want to improve their quality and also the aesthetic appeal. This is like gold. What is this made out of? Shit, I don't know. Um, I'll let you guys know later. Maybe I won't do the other video for the two pin until later and I'll just do this one for right now. Cables do not increase. Uh, if you see somebody that tells you that the, the, the stage uh, increased or the, the... If they say the mids improved because of a cable... Fucking ignore them for the rest of your existence in this hobby because cables cannot and do not do that. What cables do is they have different levels of resistance and impedance and they will change what is the perceived sound. For example, a cable might actually give what seems like a 1 to 2 dB increase in volume. So when you use that cable to another cable, it sounds more dynamic or louder. Um, because of the resistance versus the two cables that you're comparing. If you were to graph it, they would look the same, except one would be slightly louder than the other one. That is it. I am obviously into cables as much as anybody in the hobby, but I do not believe that cables do anything other than give you uh, something nicer to look at, uh, something hopefully and usually of higher quality, um, and that in itself is going to ensure a good connection between your source and your transducers. That is why. The gold, silver. I, I, be, I believe silver makes it sound like uh, it's thinner or something. I, that's, that's, that, again, is the resistance of the metal being used, but it doesn't change the properties of the treble. That's the way it is. Um, these, these, this is beautiful. So if you guys are saying, I, you know, what would be a good cable for the, these, uh, this would be a good cable. This sounds fantastic. That issue that I just had with Donald Fagan sounding in the back and the two people that are doing the chorus behind him sounding like they're actually in front of him because of the, the tuning of the QT3, that doesn't happen with this set. This is, in fact, an exceptional set. This is a nice cable and it's well made. Um... So I will wreck this cable for people that want to get something off of the shelf, like right now. Like I want to buy a cable right now, and I want it to look nice. Behold, man, that Mediterranean blue, the gold, is that not 
visually appealing, I actually fucking love it. That's dope. This is 10 minutes. It's a cable video. Um, I'll do cable videos in the future. I'm going to do this one separately um, because I think I have something coming in that I want to put on this one. Um, so I'll do that separately, but these are actually going to be probably the same length and you select the termination from 2.5 to 3.5, possibly 4.4, and then whether you want 2-pin or MMCX. Um, don't listen to people that tell you the expensive cables, the frozen um, bio-cryogenic fucking bullshit has any value because it doesn't. Resistance, impedance is the only thing that's different, and the only thing you're going to hear is a change in what is perceived volume. Um, and that is what it would spec out on a frequency response. I've seen it. I've seen people compare cables. I've seen the results. I've known it. Um, and if a cable company could make a cable that did it increase the quality of your mids, do you, don't you think that they would make a video or a graph and show that? Because they would crush the competition because nobody else is doing that because they know it doesn't do that. Believe me. Every angle and every edge that they have to make sales, they use. And they make shit up, too. Sony, uh, the, the Z7 said to go to 100,000 kilohertz, which is, I, that's beyond the hearing of uh, most animals on the planet. 100,000 kilohertz is what Sony said. Maybe it's true. You'll never fucking know because you can't hear anywhere near that. Um, cables don't make a difference. But this is beautiful. This is a beautiful golden cable, and it's reasonable compared to what customizers charge. Uh, but the the thing about this is you know the name of the guy that made it, and then you can get special quests like Mini XLR. This is for people that want something off the shelf. They want something that looks nice, something that's good quality, something that works with the item that they're asking for. If you want an MMCX cable for this or any other MMCX IM, I would recommend the one that I'm going to put in the link. Thumb check goes next to this one. Good stuff. Like it. Fucking love cables. Just do your job. That's all I want them to do. 12 minutes. I, I made a cable video and I stretched out for 12 minutes. I'm, I'm fucking an animal. Holy shit. Thank you to the people that sent this to me. Um, I like it. It's good. It's absolutely beautiful. Love it.